Bob and John dig through the hundreds of declassified documents for a clue as to where Hitler may have headed next. This place is Hitler in Bogota, Colombia. Once they landed, the pilots burned the planes and the remains were submerged in the nearby marsh. I sure the hell want to be in Colombia. We go there and find something. Before we go into a place, we do risk assessments. And now being here and seeing that really you could bring an aircraft in easily, you could hide an aircraft easily, and then you could take someone like Hitler and put him into the city and he's gone and he's disappeared. God, it's frightening. With over 600 square miles of land making up Bogota, the team visits the city urban planning department in hopes of zeroing in on the marsh that could have been the final resting spot for Hitler's airplane. Ahí podemos tener dos opciones. Claro, porque tenemos la avenida Carrera 68 y todo esto es hacia abajo. O al final de la calle 68. So this march uh, has been relatively untouched and it's predominantly the same as it was in the late 40s. If we were to get rid of something the size of an airplane, this would probably be the location. How are you going to search this? There's a few challenges with it because of the topography of the ground and, and the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this marsh up into three different search areas. We've got the diving gear. We're clear to dive on, on whatever anomaly we see fit in this marsh. So hopefully we'll find something. You know what this is? There's a well. There's not sufficient evidence. And Hitler died in the bunker on April 30th, 1945. Could Adolf Hitler have gotten out of Berlin, and how did he do it? How did he enter Argentina? We're going to look at who could facilitate hiding Hitler.